Got it? So here's a simple instruction on how to use a dial indicator to check whether this moving part right here is moving up, up and down perfectly. Because that angle is settable. The head here is rotatable. If you don't have it going perfectly up and down, that's not good. But you can verify that. So use a dial indicator. So it's an indicator that measures by thousandths. It's on a magnetic base and it's just a holder for it. So you touch the dial indicator against the surface, wherever. So you, you put that against the surface. The arrow, you know, note where the arrow is. You clamp down the magnetic base. So this is stiff now. Not relatively stiff. Okay. So now when you move this up and down, this arrow should not move. Because what happens, this arrow moves when, you, when this plunger goes in and out. Okay. You see that? That's a little close. I think you got to move farther away. Okay, so when that plunger moves in and out. So if this thing is moving perfectly up and down, this plunger should not move in and out. So let's try that. So if I move that up, look at that. The, yeah, the arrow is standing perfectly clear even as I move this. Look at this moving up and down here. Get that moving up and down. That moves up and down. The arrow stays perfectly in place. So that means that to within a thousandth at least, this thing is going perfectly up and down. That's really good. So that's base, the basic instructions for a dial indicator. Now declamp the magnetic base, and that's it. So basically, a dial indicator is basically a very fine dial that measures this being punched in on a scale of one thousandths of an inch.